Hey guys, now I know I've been talking about this Dijon mustard that I needed to prepare. I did prepare it, but I did it on a video and it's too long to really put it on YouTube. So it's on one of my other platforms. So what I want to show you is what I use to actually make the uh, Dijon mustard. So first I used the seeds here and they did the brown mustard seed. I don't know the brand. I've always used this brand, but I'm going to spell it for you. It's Y-A-M-E-E-S. So actually a very, very good brand that I've been using for a while. I get this off of Amazon. So once I put those in a bowl, I put about two cups of them in a bowl. And then I put either distilled vinegar. You can use distilled vinegar. Or you can use apple cider vinegar, whichever one you prefer, because you know vinegar is extremely tart. So I put about a cup and a half of vinegar. And I normally use the apple cider vinegar because to me it got a little bit of hint of sweetness in the back. Now you want to let your seed sit in the refrigerator covered for at least 24 hours. Well, I actually kept mine in there longer than 24 hours, but that's okay. I had other things I needed to do, but I took them out and I drained them. You want to make sure you get all the vinegar off of the actual seeds. And you can actually taste them from what they taste like in here to what they taste like when you taste them in your mouth. It's a big difference. They're a little bit softer after you have finished letting them sit in the vinegar. Now, after you do that, you want to put them in your blender. Whichever blender you prefer, you want to put them in your blender. Now, after you put them in the blender, you want to add certain ingredients. Now, for me, when I do my Dijon mustard, I am not doing Dijon mustard to put on my bread uh, for sandwiches. I normally use mine for marinades and dressings. So mine is usually a little bit different. So I add more things into mine that normally you wouldn't probably need to add in a Dijon mustard. So getting back to what you're adding. Typically what you add is you add sugar, uh, what's the, what, a tablespoon and a half of sugar. You add uh, some vinegar, a table and a half of more vinegar, and you will add um, some salt. That's it. I don't know why you want to add salt because it's already tart, but you're not going to eat your Act, you're not going to use, sorry, not eat. You're not going to use your actual Dijon mustard for about two to three weeks because you want those flavors to settle and you want that tartness of the vinegar to kind of subside a little bit. But what I add in mine is I add some infused garlic olive oil. I drizzle that in there. I also use my homemade brown sugar for the molasses, because I like that sweetness to take that pungentness of the vinegar off. And then I like it to a little deepness of the brown um, in the actual brown sugar. So I add a little bit of sweetness to it. I don't add salt to mine. So then I blend it all together. And as you blend it, you're not gonna see it change quickly, but it will start changing. And after you're finished, it's gonna look like this. Okay, now I'm going to show you the consistency. The texture of mine is like that. It's just like Dijon mustard, if you can see that. It smells absolutely wonderful, but you can still smell a little bit of the sharpness of the actual uh, vinegar. That's why you want it to sit so that that can kind of settle out of the actual Dijon mustard. But guys, that's it. That's all. Extremely simple extremely delicious it's depending on what you're using it for even if you use it for sandwiches that's okay i just don't use mine for sandwiches but it's a very very easy process it's extremely good you can add and take away what you choose to now another thing if i had my honey on hand i would have preferred to use my honey and i would have made a honey dijon mustard i normally don't use sugar nor do I use um, my brown sugar. I just actually started using a little bit of brown sugar even when it comes with my honey because I still like that molasses and that extra brown flavor, extra brown look that it has with the actual um, mustard. So guys, that's all. It's a very simple, easy um, recipe. You can use it. You can make big batches of it if you choose to, but 
It's as simple as it gets, guys. But before I let you go, you got to stay amazing. Bye now.